books are not supposed to be finished. Hello, everyone. This is Aliana. What I'm going to tell you today is what you previously believe about learning is wrong. When we have a course, when we have a book, we usually start chapter one. We want to finish it, and sometimes. We get bored, or we get distracted by other things, and we never finish. And I would just feel so frustrated because when you're studying the material, you didn't really have a purpose. You didn't really know what exactly do you want to get out of this course or this book. Before you buy any book or any course, you need to have a list of your current, either short-term or long-term priorities. It could be for a job interview, or for a promotion, or、um, finish a project. And if you are curious about how do you figure out what to learn for an interview, you can check out my other video, and I will link it here. Before you buy anything, you shouldn't just focusing on other people's review. You should get to the table of contents to see whether this book covers the technique that you want to learn. Does it just talk about theory, or is this a high level? So once you have that, you buy this book. Okay, now you have this book or this course. After you first figure out what you want, and then did your research, make sure the content is、uh, what you need right now. And then now we have the third thing. So the third thing is when we have the book, don't just start from chapter one. Go to the chapter that you are most interested in. A lot of us feel frustrated or uncomfortable if we don't finish a book, and we just finish every book first two chapters, and never get to the point where we want to learn. So, what do you need to change your mind about this? Is books are not supposed to be finished, because one book is structured based on what the author think. Is important for this topic that the author has picked, but all the contents there might not be useful for your current learning purpose. So you only need to pick and choose. And what I suggest is,、uh, instead of start on the first chapter, you might fall asleep. Just go straight to the chapter that you are interested in, and it's okay that you don't understand all the topic. Just read a few pages, and it's great. That you realize, oh, those are some topics I don't understand at this point, but I still want to learn this technique. Then you realize, okay, now I go back to the first chapter, and why this is important. This solved the problem that we always fall asleep on the first chapter because we feel so lost. Okay, all the fundamental knowledge and concept. Why do I need to learn this? And now you know, if you don't understand the basic things, you get lost. When you actually learning the things that are important to you, so you are more interested, and you won't just fall asleep and give up. And then you finish the few chapters that is exactly on the list of contents you want to study for now. Same for the courses. So now you have the books you bought, and you are mapping them to your learning list, and now. You are more intentional for what you want to learn. You have better time management, and you should feel good once you、um, learn the things on your list. Instead of feel good just because you finish a book,、uh, maybe those things, some chapter you never really use, or just feel good because you can post the completion of online course on social media. Ask yourself, what does it do for you exactly? You want to learn that thing, and you have limited time, so it's important to take half a day, think about what you want to learn, what is it doing for your job interview, for your career before you buy the book. Don't beat yourself up if you don't finish a book, finish a course. However, if you decided to start a chapter, you need to finish a chapter because that's a completion of at least one knowledge component. Sometimes the authors have very good summary or caveats at the end of the chapter. If you don't、uh, read till the end, you might miss that. So yeah, remember this. First, know what you want to learn. Do your research. 
uh, read the table of contents, start from the chapter or module that most interests in you, and then go from the beginning. And don't need to finish everything, and don't need to feel bad. The most important thing is you'll learn the specific points on your list. That's it. Let me know how it works for you.